Do you know in the deep there's adventure and danger? That's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. The wicked Baron and Trigger are hiding in wait to snatch up the gold and pieces of eight. Skipper Kipper's unaware, now ready to leave. Will Dan get there in time, the gold to retrieve? That skipper is still guarding the gold in that old ship. I, I'm scared. Uh, you think we're safe here? You are scared? I don't want a trigger fish who's scared. No thoughts about it. Stick with me and you've got nothing to worry about. Yes, Finley, it's a lovely day and everything is fine. But you can never trust the Baron. He's always a menace. Ready now? when I give the signal. Minerva, oh, here comes Seabiscuit. Something's wrong. The Baron is attacking Skipper. He must be warned. I'll call him by magic telephone. Calling Skipper Kipper. Skipper Kipper. Uh, Minerva's calling on her magic cell phone. Yes, Minerva, what is it? The Baron is after the gold. Skipper, quick, close the porthole. Curses. Minerva has warned him again. That magic telephone is always getting in our way. Well, thanks to Minerva, that warning came just in time. Hey, boss, why don't we steal a magic telephone? Uh, then we, uh, they, they couldn't warn the other fish. The Baron failed again, but he's a wicked one. We better make sure Skipper is safe. Careful now. Watch for our chance. Miss Minerva, even though the porthole is closed, the Baron is sure to force the door open. As long as the door can be open, there's danger. You're right, Finley. What should we do? I have an idea. Let's nail it closed. Careful now. Uh, you, you get it, boss. I told you to call me Baron repeatedly. Oh, yeah, Baron repeatedly. I have an idea how we can nail a door closed. Let's call the Hammerhead Shark. Good idea. I'll call him now. Oh, no. Huh? Oh, okay, Baron, you fool. Oh, dear. Well, what can we do now? Well, we need help. We've got to get the telephone back. What happened to it? Oh, stole it. I, I wonder what we should do now. says that Diver Dan is coming down near the sea ferns. Well, maybe he can help. Oh, good. I'll ask him. Oh, Dan. Minerva's magic telephone has disappeared. We don't know what's happened to it. Well, I'll try to help. But first, we must find out what has happened to it. Someone must know. Who was beside Minerva's throne. We were talking, and it... Well, it disappeared. Someone must have seen what happened. Well, I don't know. Wait. Maybe old Gabby, the, the clam, could have seen. I'll go ask him. Gabby. Gabby, it's Finley. Tell us what happened, Gabby. Please. Please tell us. Well, Miss Minerva, you can make Gabby talk. We're sure Gabby the clam must have seen what happened to your magic telephone. But he won't talk. 
Old Gabby will always talk for me. Oh, please tell us, Gabby. Gabby, tell us what happened. Who took the shellophone? Please, Gabby. Gabby, please tell us. Baron. Did you find out anything? Oh, yes. Gabby says the Baron took it. Well, that's all he told us. But he must have it in his hideout. And with you along, we're not afraid of the old Baron. You've got your knife. Hurry, Finley. We must catch him. <laughs> now Minerva can't warn the others. The fish won't dare come in here to get the shellophone. If they do, they are in for a big surprise. Dan and his friends move on to the cave to strike at the Baron and trigger the knave. Miss Minerva's unhappy, overcome with despair. Can Dan regain her shellophone from this wicked pair? He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing, he slashing, jaws flapping, been snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Iver Dan.